Uh, next question, uh, first in Portuguese again. Eu perguntei tudo isso, Eru, é, porque a gente não sabe né, uh, se o Nix vai renovar ou não com o Mitchell Robinson. Né? Porque, se, no caso, não renovar com o Mitchell Robinson, nós vamos precisar de um pivô, de um center. Né? Então, até começando essa outra, esse outro lado da, da nossa entrevista, falando sobre os rumores. Né? Então, a primeira pergunta vai ser sobre exatamente... Né, uh, a sua opinião uh, sobre Mitchell Robinson, né? Uh, in English, uh, for you, uh, I, I make it, né? These questions for you because uh, we don't uh, and we don't know uh, the future, uh, Mitchell Robinson. We don't, né? Because uh, just because my questions about centers, né? Uh, because Mitchell Robinson, in your opinion, stay or leaves uh, New York Knicks? What's your opinion about uh, Mitchell Robinson, stay or leaves? You know, uh, Mitchell Robinson, I, I am not a fan of Mitchell Robinson. You know, I, I agree that, that he is a good defender. He's very yeah. athletic. Uh, he um, he doesn't waste movements. If he gets the ball, he's going to dunk, try to dunk it. But the problem with that is when it, when he gets fouled, he cannot make free throws. You know, if we give him the ball, he cannot make a pass. He turns around and he's like looking for help. He cannot create his own offense. You know, so these these things are are um, are you know, uh, you know, there's they're red flags. You know, so if you're gonna pay him money, I feel like twelve million dollars. You know, if you really like him, $12 million, okay. You know, if you want to keep him. But anything more than $12 million is like, come on. You know, let, let him go to a different team. Because I, I look at I look at a player like um, uh, Rudy Gobert. You know, but Rudy Gobert, he made $38, $40, something million. Dollars. You know, uh, Mitch Robinson, uh, you know, is, you know, if he gets if he gets $15 or $20 million, eh, <laughs> you know, he, he can't shoot. You know, he can't pass. He can't dribble. You know, he, he's, he doesn't impact the, the game other than dunking and, um, you know, playing defense. Because his rebounding to me is not, is not as good as it should be. Offensive rebound is one thing. But, you know, uh, you know I don't know. I, I, I'm just me personally. I'm just not a fan of Mitch Robinson. But I would not, man, I would not mind keeping him cheap if it was cheap. You know? Uh, the Knicks... Uh... Uh, have né, two guys né, in the same situation. Né? Noel is the other guy in the center. Be, uh, uh, we, ha, uh, we, me and Bruno, uh, make the question for you exactly uh, about, uh, I don't know the future about the centers in the Knicks. Né? Uh, I, we have, uh, uh, I forgot the name, I don't believe, Jericho Sings. <laughs> Uh, we have Jericho Sims, but Nerlens Noel. Uh, I I I, I talk uh, with uh, very very Nick fans. Uh, so many don't like Nerlens Noel. Uh, uh, assim, uh, querem trocar trade for 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 Noel, né? Uh, and Mitchell Robinson, I don't know, né? Então, the future from the Knicks, uh, it's complicated, né? We need a uh, PG, but a center, uh, we have a, a, a center. Uh, Mitchell Robinson, what, uh, I don't know. I don't know. Yeah, me, me either. Well, you know, Nerlens Noel, he's 28 years old. But if Ner if Nerlens Noel was uh, 23 like, or 22, like Mitchell Robinson, it would be the same thing. They're the same player. You know, rebounding, defense, and that's it. The only, only thing is, is um, New Orleans as well, he can pass the ball a little bit. You know, and he can shoot maybe 15 feet. He can shoot uh, free throws. He can shoot free throws. So if, if the Knicks get in trouble and um, New Orleans as well is on, is on the court in the fourth quarter and he gets fouled, we know that he can shoot He can um, shoot free throws. If um, if he gets in, in trouble where the Knicks are, are getting double teamed, if they pass it to New Orleans as well, he can make a basketball play. It won't just be dunking. He'll be able to make a basketball play to move the ball to someone else to create something. You know, Mitchell Robinson cannot do that. 
So, you know, like you said, we don't know the future. Mitch Robertson, he's still young. He can, he can grow. The same way, Nerlens Noel, he was young and he grew. You know, so Mitch Robertson can grow. But, you know, uh, $12 million? <laughs> you know, yeah. you know, it's a, it's a little, eight, man. It's, you know, Nerlens Noel makes $9 million. $9 million, okay. If Mitch, if you pay Mitch Robertson $9 million, okay. You know, 60 but, millions, 60 millions. Do, do, do you have a chance or not? Uh, 60 million times five? Ah. <laughs> you know, <laughs> five times six, right? So six million a year, <laughs> you know? But I mean, 60 million for four years? Mm, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it, would, it, would make me, it would make me shake. You know, but, you know, talent-wise, if we did keep Mitchell Robinson... It's not a big deal, you know. It's not a big deal. But you know, like you mentioned, uh, Nerlens Noel, uh, Jericho Sims, Mitch Robinson, uh, triplets. <laughs> they're, they're the same players, yes. you know. Yes. So we need agree, some diversity. Agree. You agree with that diversity? We need we need some kind of diversity. Somebody that can shoot, somebody that can post, somebody that can pass. You know, all three guys they do the same thing. Yes, I agree. <laughs> I super yeah. agree. Uh, then, bem, Victor. É, na primeira parte a respeito do Mitchell Robinson, né, o, o Eru disse que ele não é muito fã do Mitchell Robinson, é, mas que tipo assim, é, ele sabe né, que ele é um bom defensor, que é alguém que, que consegue proteger o aro, enfim, né, não gasta muitos movimentos também né, para poder pontuar, né, geralmente pega a bola e, e, e parte para um, uma enterrada, alguma coisa assim assim, do gênero, né, bem participativo e tal, nesse quesito de defesa, por exemplo, mas que ele não é muito fã dele, porque ele acha que o repertório dele não é muito grande, né, é, ofensivamente, por exemplo, é um jogador que não tem chute, e principalmente se for para a linha de lance livre, ele não consegue é, concluir com um bom percentual, né, então, é, se ele tiver mais tarde num jogo, por exemplo, e... e, e e as equipes sentirem que ele está em quadra, ele não vai conseguir pontuar, né? Porque se eles, eles vão provavelmente parar ele na, nas faltas e tal, ele não vai conseguir ir bem nos lances livres. Então, nesse quesito, ele não vai poder ajudar muito os Knicks. Então, ele, nesse fator, ele acredita que, que o Mitchell Robinson consegue ajudar. E um outro ponto principal é que é o seguinte, que o Mitchell Robinson, é, se ele pedir até uns 12 milhões, pode ser que seja que seja é, possível, né, e tal, mas ele não acredita que, tipo assim, que se ele pedir, por exemplo, 15 ou 20 milhões, que realmente não vale, né, por, por, por esses fatores, né, se é um jogador que não chuta e tal, não tem um repertório ofensivo muito grande, não consegue criar jogadas próximas ao ar ali, a não ser enterradas, né, então alguém tem que criar jogada para ele poder concluir, enfim, então todos esses quesitos ele acredita que não é viável assinar um contrato longo ou, ou caro com o Mitchell Robinson, né? Ele citou até o, o, o Gobert, né, e tal, que é, que é a mesma questão de defesa, enfim, né? Mas que ele realmente não acha que, que o Mitchell Robinson vai conseguir agregar muita coisa aos Knicks.